signal and it will write into the boot logical volume that is HD5 which is located in HDISK0. Basically each and every logical volume is having two copies. The first copy is available in HDISK0. The second copy is available in HDISK1. So we are going to recreate the boot image and write it in the BLV's first copy. Once this is done, we are going to run boss boot on the uh, second physical volume that is HDISK1. So boss boot on HDISK0 is completed. I am going to run in HDISK1. Once this is completed, I am going to run boot list. And uh, finally, we are going to verify whether each and every logical volume in root VG is having two copies or not. And we also have to verify whether the boot list includes both HDISK 0 and HDISK 1. So that uh, whenever HDISK 0 fails, the system will still get booted uh, from HDISK uh, 1. Or if HDISK 1 fails, it will get booted from HDISK 0. Okay, now boss boot on HDISK 1 is done. Now we are going to modify the boot list to include HDISK 0 and HDISK 1. Let me verify it again. Boss boot dash M normal space dash O. This will list your current boot list. So it says HDISK 0 followed by HDISK 1. Here you see the BLV that is the boot logical volume is HD5 of HDISK. 0 and HD5 of HDS1. So what we are going to do now, we are going to verify the, uh, verify whether each and every logical volume is having two copies or not. If we take HD5, it is having one LP and it is located in two PPs. That means for each and every LP there is, there are two PPs and both the PPs are in Two different PVs okay so for HD6 you have 16 LPs 16 into 2 32 PPs they are in 2 PP 2 PVs so for each and every LV you can see 2 PVs and the LP if the LP is 1 the PPs are 2 so uh, PPs are always twice the amount of LP if if it is there like this then the volume group is fully mirrored I mean for each and every LP that should be two PPs and they should be located in two different physical volumes okay and uh, LSVG root VG this will show you how many okay the total PVs we already verified this one and uh, the VG descriptors this is called a VGDA. Whenever a volume group is having one physical volume, it will have two VGDAs. And when we add the second physical volume, it will create the third VGDA in the second PV. So if you have two PVs in a VG, then it should have three volume group descriptor areas. So we have three VGDA. Then the quorum is switched off. If it is uh, two, it is switched on, one means switched off. And the used PP is previously before mirroring it was 2 GB. Now it is around before mirroring it was around 2000 MB. Now it's 4000 MB. Okay, that means the mirroring is perfect. So what to do next? Everything is done. If you want, you can verify this also. Check whether the free PPs for both the PVs are same and the total PVs are same and. Uh, Okay, that's perfect.
So basically here you use lsvg root vg, lsvg dash l root vg, lsvc lsvg dash p root vg and verify the boot list for the normal boot. So with this we have completed the mirroring of root volume group. You can do use the same steps to do it on a regular data volume group except the boot and boot list command. Thank you very much.